Osteoporosis Osteoporosis is a progressive disease where the bones of the body decalcify over time, thus weakening the bone itself. This weakening of bone makes it more susceptible to fracture, with or without trauma. Usually these fractures occur in the hips, spine, and wrist but certainly can occur anywhere in the body, including the feet. It is estimated that over 10 million Americans have bone demineralization, and many millions more have low bone mass known as osteopenia, which, if untreated will deteriorate to osteoporosis. This condition is diagnosed through bone mineral density tests also known as the DXA test. Not only is this test used to make the diagnosis, but it can also check the strength of the bone tested, plus it is also used to see if any treatment the patient is undergoing is actually strengthening the bone. Risk Factors for Osteoporosis Bone loss is caused by a number of risk factors. They are further divided into factors that you can change and factors you have no control over. Factors you cannot change Gender Women get osteoporosis more often than men. Age. The older you are, the greater your risk. Body size. Small, thin women are at greater risk. Ethnicity. White and Asian women are at highest risk. There is a lower risk in black and Hispanic women. Family history. Tends to run in families. If a family member has this condition, then there is a greater chance that you will too. Factors you can change. Sex hormones. Low estrogen levels can cause bone thinning in women as can low testosterone levels in men. Anorexia nervosa. This eating disorder can lead to bone loss. Calcium and vitamin D intake. A diet low in calcium and vitamin D makes you more prone to bone loss. Medication use. Some medicines increase the risk of osteoporosis. Activity level. Lack and exercise can weaken bones. Smoking. Cigarettes are bad for bones. Drinking alcohol. Too much alcohol can cause bone loss. We reach our peak bone mass at around age 30, but our bones continue to remodel. Cells known as osteoclasts break down bone, generally old and poorly structured bone, and osteoblasts are cells that come in and lay down new bone. If the amount of new bone is equal to the amount of old bone being destroyed then the bones stay strong. When this balance starts to favor the osteoclasts, bone starts to weaken. The drug Fosamax works by inhibiting osteoclast activity. Osteoporosis and the feet. The reason why I chose to include this subject is because of the affect it can have on the feet. Not so much from a fracture standpoint as I am not even sure I have seen a foot fracture that I attributed to osteoporosis in all my years of practice but rather another ramification of the disease as it relates to foot pain. Yes, sometimes they may suffer from multiple arthritic joints but they usually can then point to areas of the feet that hurt. When the complaint is of pain with vague symptoms many times it can be from osteoporosis. As the bones of the feet demineralize over time, they become weaker but are still expected to support the whole body. This weakness in the bones reduces the strength of the individual bones and it is manifested as generalized foot pain. For the individual who already suffers from bone demineralization, there is not much that can be done to reverse the condition. As far as foot pain from bone weakening is concerned, wearing good solid laced shoes with an arch support can go a long way to reducing the stress placed on the bones in an effort to support the feet. Most experts recommend the following in treating bone demineralization, before it occurs. Calcium supplements and increased calcium in your diet. Vitamin D supplementation, 800 international units slash day. Eat foods rich in vitamin K, broccoli, cabbage, and spinach. Exercise in an effort to strengthen bone. Cessation of smoking. Moderation of alcohol consumption. Up until recently HRT, hormone replacement therapy, 
was advocated but it is now known that the risks of estrogen therapy far outweigh the benefits. Read the complete article at www.fot-pain-expland.com slash osteoporosis.html